Kathy Johnson, and I am the director of the Alabama Broadband Initiative, which is Governor Riley's broadband effort in Alabama. Absolutely. Alabama is very similar to a lot of other states, but in a way a little bit dissimilar as well. We have 67 counties in Alabama, 55 of which are considered rural counties. So we have got a huge digital divide. Not only are they rural counties, but one thing I did not mention in the presentation is we have an area of the state called the Black Belt of Alabama. The Black Belt was originally named because that's a rich agricultural area and dark soil that runs throughout the Black Belt. But unfortunately now the Black Belt is known for something else and it's their high poverty levels. Um, low educational attainment, high poverty, high teen pregnancy rates, high um, incidences of substance abuse. And so we have got not only in all of Alabama as a whole, we have got a huge digital divide in that area and we've got to bring the standard of living up for all those residents. Absolutely. We truly do believe this effort will not be successful without the involvement of the community. Down on a local level, of course Governor Riley is initiating this and he's the champion for broadband in Alabama, but it takes really a bottom-up effort. Top-down encouragement and funding and resources, but bottom-up effort. We are working with the communities and all those areas that I talked about in the presentation from um, education, health care, telecommuting, uh, public safety, I'm trying to think of some of the ones, agriculture, e-government services. We will pull together a leader in each one of those areas. We will assess how the communities are currently using this um, technology and then we will work with them and making sure that they understand all the opportunities that exist. First that the infrastructure is in place and then that they're actually using it. We've really been very successful but kind of surprisingly so because we do sit at about 43rd to 48th depending on which uh, survey that you see in the use of the internet. However we have some areas in Alabama that are doing things that are getting national, not only national, international recognition. We have one of the largest economic development projects in the world right now in Alabama. ThyssenKrupp Steel has selected Alabama as their business home but it's because it's an area that not only provides the rivers, the railways, the roads, the infrastructure that they need, the land that they need, the uh, workforce development that they need, but we've got the broadband capability there and they are having to communicate with the other side of the world. I was talking about Hyundai in my presentation. They have to have daily um, communication and video conferencing with Seoul, South Korea, which is where their headquarters are located. We have Toyota, we have Honda, Mercedes, and Hyundai, and now ThyssenKrupp, which is a German company. So we've got to be able to reach not only to people in Alabama, we've got to be able to reach to the other side of the world and very rapidly.